This is our quick operational evaluation of the Nook ebook reader. It uh, reads electronic books that can be downloaded from Wi Fi or over a telephone type connection within the United States. In the back, you can pop off and it has a removable battery. Remove that screw, that battery comes out and it can be replaced. That's a good thing. I like that, especially on a boat. And a small SD uh, card reader for uh, more storage. Uh, you could put a thousand books on this thing. I've found in real life the size of that is not very critical. Uh, more than a hundred books on it and they just start getting in each other's way. This ebook reader, unlike others, stays in a like a sleep mode. You don't turn it completely on or completely off normally. You can turn it completely off or on by holding down this little silver button up here. This is the sleep mode. It allows you to put your own pictures in here for screensavers. I like to put a picture of Jill and I on here. If I have it at a uh, internet cafe or off the boat and it's laying there with our pictures on it it's not likely that somebody's going to walk off with it with our pictures to put it into the regular read mode you simply press the little button once and it pulls up the book and it comes back to a book that I'm currently reading one of the things that I've seen a lot of uh, talk about is the speed at which the ebook readers change pages. I can change pages by pressing this button, this button, or swiping my finger across here. If I choose to change a page, this is the normal speed an e-reader changes pages. Now, that may seem like a long time, but in reality, I think it's faster than when I change pages on a regular book. As I'm getting toward the end, I just change. If you swipe your finger across there, uh, not always, but most of the time there, it uh, senses that and reads that also. Down here, it gives me the page number I'm on. It gives me a bar graph indication slightly of where I'm at in the book. I'm about halfway through this one. You can see that I'm... Uh, this goes off automatically in order to save battery power. It has the time and the battery status up here and the name of the book that you're reading right up there in the front. Uh, makes for a very nice ebook reader. If you press the little Nook button, it'll take you to a area where you can read the daily if you're in the United States. It daily downloads things. Uh, my library, uh, you can shop for books online. Uh, what I'm reading now, if I press that button, it would automatically take me back to where I was reading. And settings button, button allows you to turn the Wi-Fi and telephone system off. It's called airplane mode, so that you can not have any transmissions from the unit. It also saves battery power. Once we're on the boat and we're away from uh, shore, there's no use in using battery power to do that, so I just leave that off. Uh, get it back here for a second. Uh, if you go to my library, you can see the books. I'm reading Free Culture here. Uh, these are all books that are on here uh, in my library. I can see this one is highlighted. As I press that, you'll see the highlight moves down. And moves down. I believe this one is, and you press that little button, it opens that book up. Now you can see this book is a little hard to read in that uh, it's a PDF book. Some PDFs allow resizing of the type and some do not. This one did so I can get the larger type. If I go back Go back to my library, and 
I can go to, you'll see there's two dots here. One is black, the other is not. I'll press this button and I'll go to the next page of my library. And I have a Link 10 Owner's Manual. I'm going to press the button because I want to read that one. And you can see this is also a PDF, but it allows me to change the font size so I can read the PDF very well. That it goes through, you know, fairly quickly changing pages. When you're done reading, whatever book you happen to be reading at the time. Uh, let's go back to the library. Uh, and then back to the previous page. You can sort your books in order of author's name or in order of the book name. And I want to go down to the book I was reading, Free Culture, and I click that, and you'll notice it takes me right back to where I left off. When I'm done reading, I can set it down, and it will automatically go into the sleep mode with that picture on it. If I press the button up here and hold it for five seconds, it will turn the unit completely off, the screen will go blank, and use no electrical power. It uses almost none whatsoever. I haven't used it in about a week right now because I've been traveling and you can see the battery is still very high with the airplane mode turned on, meaning it's not transmitting. Uh, it uses little or no power even though the screen is turned on. Or when you get done reading, if you want to conserve, you just press that button and that comes up. Press it once more and now it goes back into a sleep mode and I can just leave it lay. And we're done. So that is our mini operational evaluation of our Nook ebook reader.